how he just like speed walks here. This sort of speed effects. I think that would hit. I think that tutorial would hit. Cause I got I literally got a music video. I'm editing this week, but I'll be done next week. And it features stuff like this. I showed it last Saturday, right? Um while I'm editing, I could record a tutorial at the same time. Just to crush time in it. Um but yeah guys. I, I think I might make this this video right now that I'm shooting right now. That I'm gonna clip. Um yeah, the one in the rain, bro. I literally um I was shooting on a Sony, right? They hired a Sony. The the production team hired a Sony. So uh we didn't want to get it wet. So I had a I had a Tesco bag. I literally cut a hole in my Tesco bag. I've literally got it there, but it's in the bin in it. And I just ate chicken and there's like chicken bones like on top of the bin. So like we cut a hole in the Tesco bag and then just put the lens over it. Um and then we had it on a tripod. We had it on a tripod to get this effect. The main thing with this effect, you just gotta have your, your camera on a tripod, you'll keep it there. Um and it was kinda hard because it was raining and windy and we had an hour to shoot because my train was going and I had assignments this week so it wasn't like I could stay stay the night in London or like go back to Surrey or something so I kind of had to go back ASAP um, but yeah man I, I think I might I might do this video on this um nice little time lapse effect so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this cool effect um, that we obviously saw in the video just before so um, I'm gonna open up After Effects um, like a cool sort of um, it's like a cool sort of time-lapse blurry effect uh, if you will I, I was doing this recently on a client video and I thought you know I might as well just make a video on it and show you like, how I how I create the effect we want a really good run with the uploads on this channel so if you're new to the channel bro subscribe new videos every week basically and use my code BXPEK at the answer 10% off your purchase on the site after effects i'm gonna open up a new project i'm gonna open up a new project and then a new composition you want your settings to reflect your your footage that you'll be getting in so because we do be, we'll be doing rotoscoping we'll be doing some rotoscoping so you want your footage that you bring in to at least be the same as your um be the same as your timeline i showed this on a tripod here we go click on this so i showed this on the tripod so as you can see, he's in the same position, even though the exposure and stuff is flickering, which we probably should have like made sure was good uh, before we shot. But um, yeah, the main thing is that the tripod is in the same place. So um, I've already got a clean slate. Uh, I've already got a clean slate. So you want to have a clean slate, which basically means that you've got nothing on it. Um, and it's just a frame of the background. Um, so that's my clean slate that I've got, it's just a frame, it's just a still that I took and then I obviously took out like, the logos and the company uh, the company stuff. So if you go back to this, we're gonna you wanna gonna wanna pick pick some footage that's easy for after effects to sort of uh rotoscope for you. So um where you can make out that there's a clear person. So there we go. So I'm gonna get this slice of footage right here. I think that'll be cool. I want to make this tutorial quick too. Uh, I'm literally on crunch time right now. Uh, so here we go. We've only got we've only got how long? We've got we've got six seconds of footage. So basically, what you want to do, um, you're gonna to want to make sure this is on the full. Make sure this is on the full. Um, basically, just make sure that you're seeing the. The best, the best quality is on here. It'll make it a lot better um, when you go to rotoscope. So to rotoscope, you click on this icon over here and you click or double tap on your footage. It'll bring you into here, um, into the rotoscoping tool. And you start off with the first frame and you just basically just outline, do the first outline and you just kind of paint an outline where your subject is. Um, and obviously like this is really bad to start off with. But then to erase, you just click Option for me on Mac. I think it's Control on that like PC. Um, but yeah, I just click Option, and then it, it's the Erase tool. So you just want to make sure that you get it kind of accurate on the first frame. Then you won't have to do too much work after. There we go. 
you might want to zoom in too. Um, zoom in by this, you know. Uh, you just want to make sure that for the most part, you've only just got his, his, um, the, the subject in the frame and not really anything else. But even if there is something else, like shadows and stuff, it's not too bad, we can fix that later. Um, so we basically got most of them here. Um, so what, you, what we're going to want to do, you're just going to want to scrub your playhead through and it will automatically just track where your subject is. As you can see, it's kind of called the stop sign here so we can take that off and try and put on the hand back and you just kind of just scrub through. There we go. And it's just automatically just tracking. And here it's caught some of the building so you might want to rub this off here and then get him back in and then from there it should learn that okay we don't want to have that building in and then it will automatically for the most part remove like the building there we go so everything in the pink outline is basically a cutout so it's basically a cutout of your of your footage and you can you can also click here um to to see what it looks like um what your cutout looks like that's what it looks like so far obviously we can improve this here but i'm on a time constraint so i'm gonna i'm gonna be kind of quick with this um but yeah you can click on and off here to see what it looks like with and without the background and then to, to toggle the feather to make it a bit smoother and more natural you can put the feather up up it up quite a bit And then you can go back to the comp and that's what it looks like that's what your mask your mask with your still frame looks like and if you turn off the, the bottom layer that's what it's looking like right now um, and then the most important part you want to want to slap on uh, uh, white time on this to give it that sort of blurry effect um, and then you sort of put the forward steps up the more you put it up since it's on a tripod you don't need to worry about the backward steps but yeah then you've got this sort of smooth sort of time lapse -y feel when he's just like this, this is just normal footage and then obviously i'm gonna come i'm gonna put this and combine this with other footage and um, with other cutouts of him and then it sort of looks like he's in multiple places at the same time um, uh, and then you can speed ramp this, you can do a lot with this. And then I'm going to bring this into Da Vinci to color grade it. I'm going to use the Hanser to, to make the color look a lot better. And you can use the Hanser too if you use, uh, just go to the site, whatever item you want from the Hanser store. And then when you're ready to purchase, just use my code BXPEK. Uh, the Hanser hooked us up with 10% with off. So use my code BXPEK. You can get like great looks off of the Hanser. Um, yeah, man, I love, I love this tool. And this effect in general, this is a really cool effect. Okay, nice little speed ramps. You definitely used a gimbal for that. That's for sure. Nah, bro, these videos are clean, bro. Bro, Declan don't miss, bro. Okay. Okay. Bro, Declan don't miss, bro. Nice little drone shots. Declan, Kyle, bro, this man don't miss, bro. Declan, bro. Six for six, bro. You six for six, bro. We watched the the So Fago video, the, the one with Ken Carson. We watched the Young Faisal one. We watched two Rich and Miri ones. We watched the other Rich and Miri. Um, and then we watched another, I think we watched the Tekka video. We watched the Tekka video. So he's six for six. He's literally six for six, guys. He's six for six, bro. He's six for six. That's crazy. You felt so